Brr, brr. Yeah, he call me big brr. Brr. Come make the pussy brr. Send me a text so I see him yeah. the attic. Do it, you grip on the dust. Hold it. Got the dumb pee, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry BNA. If you don't know, now you know. And now we're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So, in today's video, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title in this intro, honey, I'm showing y'all how to do these trendy, um, Koi Laray, Jada Waiter style braids. I don't know what they're, I don't know what the name is, but they're super duper trendy right now. They're super cute. Been wanting this style for a while, so definitely wanted to film it for y'all in case y'all were wondering how to do it at home to save your coin and save your time and not to get COVID, all that good stuff, okay? So if you want to see exactly how I did it and all the tips and tricks and all the things that you'll need, then keep on watching, and I'll see y'all in the next clip. Okay, y'all, please support the kid by subscribing to my channel, turning your push notifications on, and follow me on all my social medias, okay? So here is my hair. It's pre-stretched and ready to go. We're going to get right into this style first by getting a mirror behind us, okay? So I'm looking into a mirror in front of me and behind me as a guide. It's really going to help with my parts, okay? Make sure everything is clean and neat. So you're going to take your red silk comb and you're going to start parting your hair, okay? Um, I'm going to be doing three braids in the back. I'm going to show y'all everything. I'm going to turn around so you can know exactly what I'm doing. So please be patient. I got y'all, okay? Also, everything I'm using, I will tell you in the video, and it also will be linked in the description box below. So if you have any questions, please look there before you head over to the comments, okay? I accept all comments, though, when I'm going to respond to everything. But yeah, check the description box if you want to know exactly what to get. So starting off with sectioning my hair, I'm about to be using a lot of shining jam. That's my favorite jam to use when I'm braiding my hair. And I'm also going to have scrunchies on deck to put the rest of my hair up, all right? So yeah, as far as the braiding hair, I'm going to be using Expressions pre-stretched in 52 inches all right make sure you look at that link in the description box to know exactly what i'm talking about so here's my first section i did pretty darn good without no shining jam okay but i am going i am going to take my red tail comb and i'm gonna put some shining jam on my hair because it sleeks everything together it gets rid of the flyaways and it makes sure that i have the perfect crisp part okay so all I'm doing right now is getting that on the roots of my hair. And then I'm going to go in and touch up my part. Do know that my parts were not perfect in this video, okay? It was kind of hard for me to see my right side of my head. But, you know, nothing has to be perfect, even though I'm a perfectionist. But, yeah, you just want to make them as clean and neat as possible. Don't stress too much over it. Y'all be in my comments like, I don't know how to part, girl. It's okay. If people are paying attention to your parts like that, they need to get away from you, okay? Six feet. Stay six feet away, okay? So, anyways, this is how big my section is going to be. If you're curious, I believe I had 16 braids in total. 16 or more. I don't know. But here's also another trick. I like to put the section that's in the middle away so that I can do two braids at a time. A lot of y'all be in my comments like, oh my God, I don't understand how you have the arm strength to do your own hair, the patience. Girl, if you use this technique, doing two braids at a time, it goes by super duper quicker, okay? So right now I'm getting more shine and jam on my part before I start braiding down. I'm going to try to explain this as good as i possibly can so basically you're going to make sure that you comb that shine and jam through your hair and make sure that your parts are nice and perfect as they could possibly be and then you're going to take your braiding hair double this in size if you want them as thick and long as mine are double that because i did it for the first time and it wasn't big enough for me so yeah make sure you get a good amount of braiding hair and you're going to section your real hair into threes and braid as normal or make a plait as normal when your index finger is sticking out here is where you're going to place the braiding hair you see how i doubled that hair in size and it's way more than i had shown y'all at first 
that's because this is going to create a thick, long braid, and I'm not going to have to add any more hair after I do the first three sections. So now I'm plaiting that down to lock that section in. My index finger is sticking back out, and I'm going to add more braiding hair. You're going to do this three times. So right now I'm on number two. I'm going to lock that down. Make sure you're braiding really tightly to your scalp so your braids don't come out. And then I'm going to add the last piece of braiding hair right under that index finger again. And then you're just going to braid as normal. And because you added so much hair at the beginning and you got 52 inches of hair when you bought the hair from Expressions, you're not going to have to add any more hair. What you are going to do is add a whole lot of jam, okay? Shine and jam is your best friend in braiding styles, like I promise you, okay? Y'all, my hands are ashy. That's actually disrespectful. <laughs> ah, don't mind that. Also, please don't mind my room. Girl, I'm doing some spring cleaning, honey, so... Please disregard anything y'all see in the background, but yeah, you're just going to continue to braid down and make sure you add shine and jam. You're going to want to add a lot at the ends of your hair so you know that they're not going to be sticking out of your braid, okay? Flip that thing in front of you and braid down as normal. It's really self-explanatory once you get the basics down. So, yeah, I hope that explanation was easy to follow um if not don't worry I'm gonna continue to show you guys a lot more braids if you're like a visual learner like I am so now I'm getting to the ends and I love pre-stretch hair because you see the the braid is naturally getting smaller also here's a tip if you need to take some hair from another section if one section is too small that's literally all I do just pull hair from another section and then immediately put shine and jam on it so it doesn't come undone and then just continue to braid down. So I wanted my braids to kind of stop under my boobies. So in order to stop the braid, you're going to take a little piece of the braiding hair that's at the end and wrap it around the braid. And then you're going to make a tie. I kind of didn't do this well in the beginning, but um, as I continue to braid my hair, you're going to see my method change. Um, as far as tying the hair, because doing it this way, it just makes the hair nappy. You know, nobody got time for that. So, um, yeah, once I... Also, if you hear any any stuff in the background, I do apologize. My siblings are upstairs driving their dad on cars. Like, my mom bought them cars. If y'all don't go outside... Uh, anyways, that's what the end looks like <laughs> after you tie it. And now I'm going to secure it with rubber bands if you plan on dipping your hair at the end girl don't waste your time all these rubber bands popped <laughs> i'm gonna talk to you guys about it at the end of the video so yeah stay tuned but yeah that's all you do and then i'm gonna cut some of these ends off because i don't want too long of a curl at the end so um yeah, I went ahead and cut them even more. So you'll see as you continue to watch the video. But make sure you got some scissors on deck so you can kind of feather the ends out and make them shorter. But yeah, that's really all you do. And if you take your time, your braid will be nice and neat just how mine is. Isn't it so cute? Yes, I did the other ones a little bit more thicker. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to let y'all continue to watch the video. She put my man to wait like this I'm not my ex anymore Hope I make it out of here She saw my ex, she know I'm home I see some things that you might hear I'm doing a show, I'll be back soon That ain't what she wanna hear Please knock them out 
So I just wanted to jump in and show you guys how I add the curly hair to the braid. It's kind of ghetto, to be honest, but it's how I get it done. So what you're going to do is place the hair in the braid under your index finger as normal. And I put the curly hair in my mouth to hold it with my lips, you know, not in my mouth, you know, like it's not getting wet or anything. But anyways, that's how I do it. I put some shine and jam on the braid and I continue to braid down. If I had someone helping me or if I had a third arm and a third hand girl, it would be easier but since i don't that's how i do it so don't come for me in the comments and please do not judge okay um if you guys have a better solution a better way to do it then you can comment that below but if you got some hating that shit to say girl keep it to yourself because i don't care and it's already done and my hair look good regardless okay okay so i do feather out the ends right here i'm cutting the ends a little bit more because i didn't want them to be too long like i said earlier and i do also cut the curly hair so it matches the length of the entire braid so yeah i went ahead and i um sectioned off the next row and this is what it looks like um so in case you wanted to do your hair exactly like mine this is how i sectioned off the braids and I'm just going to continue braiding, you guys. It's really easy. The hardest part is making your dag on sections and parts. So a tip that I said earlier was to do two braids at a time, right? What I mean by that is to do two sections at a time. And I like to measure with my red cell comb. It makes it easy uh, to make sure that your sections are going to be the same size around. But yeah. Do two sides at a time. So one braid on the left and one braid on the right. So you don't have to do one braid, section, one braid, section. And then you turn around and be like, oh, this section bigger than the other. My head lump side it. Yeah, we won't got time for that. So I do one on the left, one on the right. And I keep it pushing, okay? Same process. Get your shining jam. Separate into three sections. Make sure you pull out your baby hairs when you're doing the front if you want baby hairs. Um, and braid as normal. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I really hope my explanations are clear as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna let y'all watch the video. Please like, okay, because this took a lot of time and effort, okay? Okay.
just pops in the daggone water i don't know if the water was too hot but i'll be back y'all okay you guys so i'm back real quick i'm about to talk to you guys about my experience with the ends because girl i had some trials and errors so basically i believe the hot water made these perm rods pop and they also made all of the freaking um rubber bands pop so i have to take those off but my ends are still secured so happy about that hold on y'all my battery about to die i did some bullshit <laughs> 
So like I was saying, um, I'm not saying that your rubber bands are going to pop. These rubber bands suck. Like they pop on the regular, so I should have known that they was going to pop. But these are the ends so far, and they're super duper cute. Um, I really like the way the curl is coming out. Some people curls look big and bulky, and I really don't like that. So I would suggest either using better rubber bands or don't use rubber bands at all and just tie the ends with the hair um and do it very securely make sure when you roll these if you use perm rods if you want to get a similar curl like these um so put the end tuck it under and roll it back up like that and roll it into the plait if that makes sense because it comes out better it looks like uniform it don't look like automatically like out of nowhere here's a curl you know what i'm saying like bending the actual um braid just gives it a better look in my opinion um also these drive super duper quickly for me because i sat i kind of like okay hold on let me show y'all i have this heated cap from amazon by elegante all i did was open my cap and like literally stick my braids into the cap and I closed it tight and I threw it behind my back and um it's attached to your blow dryer so I put it on the highest um like the lowest sound but the highest heat setting and all I did was beat my face and by the time I was done my makeup my hair was dry and it's completely dry you also want to be careful because that water be piping hot you know what I'm saying so yeah some of the rubber bands pop some of them different i mean did it so i'm gonna let them pop on their own right now i'm going to fluff out the little curly pieces a little bit um as you can see i didn't add too many throughout my head i did not want too many i don't like when each braid has a curly piece they don't like that at all this style was super cute though i will say that the front of my hair is this part always slides out it's the softest part of my hair and I literally hate it. I don't mind having soft hair. But when it comes to braids and stuff, it don't never want to stick. Like, it don't never want to stay, stay down. Like, it's lifting already. It's okay, though, because I don't keep hairstyles in for long anyways. This will probably be in my hair for a good two, three days, and then they'll be out. But, yeah, definitely fluff the hair. You know what I'm saying? So, it can look natural i love the messy look y'all so this looks like messy and natural i love it so right now i'm about to do my baby hairs because that always sets off the look i'm gonna use edge booster i wish this was an old bottle of edge booster because i realized new edge booster makes my hair curl up and my old one because it's set the longer it sits, the thicker it gets. And I like when Edge Booster is thick. So right now I'm trying to use like the old part on the top because I like it because it literally lays my hair down better. Okay, so here's the final result. I love it. They're super duper cute. Here's a close up on all the ends. I love how curled and like thick they made the ends, like the bottom. Also, disregard all that in the back, y'all. I've been trying to like do a lot these past couple of days. So, yeah, this is the view from the back. <laughs> Let me see how they look from the back because I ain't even check myself 
Oh, y'all, this is cute. You can't tell me nothing. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really had a good time filming it. It's super easy to do. I love this style. Coyle Ray, Jada, Wada, everybody is rocking their style. It's super trendy right now, so I wanted to do it for y'all in case y'all were wondering how to do it. They're fuller, they're thicker, and they're longer than how Koi wears them because I put my own style on them. So yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please be sure to like this video, okay? Because doing your own hair is not easy. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video, okay? Bye, mamas. Hold it. Got the dumb pig, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.